So we've been working on um, author's perspective or author's point of view, and then we wanted to compare and contrast. So I want to combine those, and I want to work on comparing and contrasting the author's point of view or perspective to your point of view or perspective, okay? So we're first gonna read this short um, passage story called The Manatees of Florida. And then down here, um, it wants you to reread this short little paragraph and then it has a question for you, a short answer. So let's read this first. Where manatees live? Florida manatees live in rivers near the Atlantic Ocean along the coast of Florida. Sometimes they swim in the ocean. In the summer, they move further north. Florida manatees can live in both freshwater and saltwater. Rivers and lakes have freshwater. There is no salt in freshwater. Oceans have saltwater. Manatees prefer warmer water warmer than 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Manatees live where the water is three to 10 feet, one to three meters deep. They eat only plants that grow underwater. Plants need sunlight to grow. Sunlight reaches only about 15 feet, four and one half meters underwater. Manatees live near places where plants can grow. Florida manatees may live alone during spring, summer, and fall. In winter, they come together at warmer rivers. Some rivers are warm because of electric power plants. The power plants, the power plants send warm water into nearby rivers. Manatee enemies and dangers. Manatees do not have natural enemies. They are safe from many enemies because they live in shallow water. Shallow means not deep. Most animals that could hurt manatees live in deeper water. The greatest danger to Florida manatees is people. People drive boats in waters around Florida. Sometimes the boats hit manatees. Many manatees are hurt or killed. Most manatees have marks from accidents with boats. Trash thrown in the water is also harmful to manatees. People also destroy places where manatees live. People build houses and factories near the oceans and rivers. Factories often put chemicals in the water. Some chemicals kill plants. This means there is less food for the manatees. Chemicals can make manatees sick too. So after reading that, I'm gonna go down to the craft and structure part, it's your assignment. So it says, read the passage, the manatees of Florida, and then complete the prompt. Reread this paragraph from the text. People also destroy places where manatees live. People build houses and factories near the oceans and rivers. Factories often put chemicals in the water. Some chemicals kill plants. This means there is less food for the manatees. Chemicals can make manatees sick too. Okay, so here's where we are gonna start comparing and contrasting. Comparing, telling if we agree, or contrasting, telling if we disagree, okay? So the author believes that factories hurt manatees. Do you agree or disagree with what the author has said about factories? Complete the sentence. So I know this is one short line, but I would rather you write one, more than one sentence. So I already have this sentence started for you and it says, I agree or disagree with the author because. So you need to rewrite that. I would like it right here. So if you agree, you would say, I agree with the author because whatever you think. Or if you disagree and you don't think um, that factories hurt manatees and you would say, I disagree with the author because. Give me your opinion, compare or contrast with the author. 